Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We about to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. What would our Elohim like us to know at this time? We got the Nine of Wands. With the Temperance. So somebody keep persevering through battle and because of the divine. Yeah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah. I love them. I love to see them coming. Let me tell y'all something. Somebody keep persevering through battle because they divinely protected. Divinely protected by the word and the sun and the Holy Spirit, the most high Yahweh, the temperance, the sun with the higher fine back, the back, the back. But these three are one. The most high takes action in the material world in somebody's life and they have safety under the sun protected that's how they keep persevering through these ongoing battles and these struggles we got the moon with the uh with the ace of cups Somebody is hitting. So, ooh, look. And then, okay, hold on, y'all. It's hit. So, somebody is hitting. This Ace of Cups was hitting. But this person got so they're in alignment, mind, body, and so they're in alignment with the Most High. This person has been perfected in the spirit and they're awakened. You are a badass full of life, love, and possibilities. And then the Ten of Cups. The divine fulfills things, fulfills his promises for this individual. So anybody trying to battle this person or do anything in secret, anybody got any hidden intentions against this person, any hidden motives, anybody doing anything out of insecurity, whether you doing it in the light, the sun going to see you. Whether you doing it in the dark, the, the moon still illuminates light. This person to be awakened to it. This person knows about it. They might not say nothing. They might not come to you like, hey, I know what you did last summer. <laughs> I know what you did last night. But they know. <laughs> they awaken to it for sure. Best believe they know. They know about every plan, every plot. And they persevere through all of it. Somebody could have been trying for a long time to separate this person. Because they're upset. Somebody goes against whoever this is. Yeah, an enemy. An enemy of a chosen one. An enemy of a chosen one. You think you're being sneaky. You think you can stab this person in the back. You think you can hurt this person. You think that you can separate them from their divine protection. That should have never fucking happened. You think that you can separate them from being in alignment with the most high. That should have never happened. See, y'all don't get that word. Nothing in all creation. That means nothing in all creation. That means spiritually and or physically, nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from that love. Nothing. So you're not going to separate this, this person. You can't separate them from the word. You can't separate them from the sun. You can't separate them. 
Period. Because it's written in them. It's in them. You cannot separate them from it. You could try to hurt them spiritually, physically. They just going to use it for purification and then going to feel relief. They might be a little upset about it. Hell, they may want to confront the enemy. But they ain't got to do all of that because the sun. You think you can sneak away with this person's happiness? That's why all your motherfucking happiness be short motherfucking term. You think you could just stab this person in the back and try to be manipulative? And you think you're going to have the promises and the rewards that the divine gave to another? Yeah, you yeah, you tripping. You better go get your mother. You, see, I be trying not to cuss y'all out. But you better go get your own. You cannot take what the divine gave to another. You better go get your own. See, it's somebody that's upset because of how much the Most High loves you. Hey. The most I love you too. The most I love all his creation. The positive and the negative. The light and the dark. So what's your problem? Because this person basking in that love because they happy with that love? What's your problem? See, you need to look in the mirror. What's your problem? Shit. Wanting to be an enemy or something. Like, go ahead somewhere. So what? This 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 is a divine child, a chosen one, a called one, right? So they're not supposed to be happy and have joy in the love, the overflowing love, true love that the most high got for them? Huh? Because you upset? Because your little plans and plots to slow them down, your little plans and plots to hurt them, your plans and plots to go against them, your plans and plots to sneak them, that's the only reason why you mad. Because you want to hurt them. You mad because they keep getting through anything that you do. Any try to any ongoing battle, spiritually or physically, any hidden motive, deception, even if you're doing something up under the moon, every fucking plan and you've been doing it for a long time. You mad. You so mad that this person still remains balanced. They're still loved. They're still awakened. And it upsets you. You want them to lose their blessings. You want them to lose that love. You want them to lose that protection. But no, they gonna shine. Because they received the healing from the divine. And they know they a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. And they will get like that if they got to. They get in that night of swords if they got to. Yeah, they somebody to wear their heart on their sleeve. But best believe... You can get checked. Learn to leave people alone when they at peace. They happy that the most high take action in their life in the material world. They happy that the most high bless them and share knowledge with them. They have hope. They believe in that promise. So they're happy. They're complete with the most high. See, that's why you want to separate them because you want them to be incomplete and feeling fucked up. No, they're complete 
when they're home with the most high. And that's just that. And this person be happy that they be sneaking away and getting away from these damn, these enemies. And a little backstabbing, underhanded. This person is happy that the divine share knowledge about you lying, backstabbing, manipulative enemies that always looking to receive some sort of good news on somebody. Y'all some hating ass motherfuckers. Y'all hateful as hell. Shit. Oh, well. Shit, that's what I... Shit, oh, well, honey. Oh, the fuck. Well. Get mad, be mad. Do whatever you gotta do, hell. But it ain't gonna work. Because they're going to always persevere. And you're not going to be able to separate them from what they got going on with the creator of all. That's what you're not going to be able to do. See, this person remain balanced. This person just focus on persevering, right? This, this person remain in a light. This person is heavenly taught. This person used their intuition. This person got so. This person is spirit, perfected in the spirit. They got that spark of life. They are badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. And they happy. And they gonna complete what they started with the divine, right? But see, they get upset when you try to hurt them and you try to separate them from the divine. They get upset when you try to call yourself going against the divine or trying to go against them because of their connection to the divine. That's what it had them confronting your motherfucking ass. That's a had that that's what it had them saying something to your motherfucking ass. They be chilling. And then when y'all try to sneak them, backstab them and do some underhanded shit against them and trying to cause them loss because y'all don't like what they got going on. That's when they lean the fuck up. Otherwise they don't. Or if y'all do it to somebody else, hell, I don't know what the fuck y'all think this is, but, uh, Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Somebody decided to complete what they started. This little hit and deceptive shit. Somebody didn't decide it to complete with whatever they started. We got the silent treatment. So this person could be being silent because they getting clarity. I mean, you feel like you get in the silent treatment and this and this and that. If you one of these enemies or these haters, this uh, hurt and you done did some underhanded shit to this person, like... If they had given you the silent treatment, oh, the fuck well, man. Or it could not even be about you. Maybe they're having a silent retreat and they in silence because the veil is being lifted up and they seeing what's going on. Maybe they focusing on their motherfucking life lessons. Damn, they seeing the truth. High priestess to the, uh, the aura of truth. Star, they see in the truth, they're being renewed in the spirit. It ain't about you. And hell, they probably see the truth about you. Hell, they getting justice. They being restored. That's why they got the aura of truth. They are the star. They, they could even be a healer. So it's just like, mm. 
Go ahead. Sit your ass down somewhere. Just go on and sit your ass. It, it's all, matter of fact, they done already did that shit. It's already half of hell. They could be being silent and just showing gratitude to the divine. Leave them alone. It's already happened. They're unconditionally loved. They already didn't experience. They got the blueprint. Unconditional love. They're in union with their connection between heaven and earth. Hello. Spiritual enlightenment. So they ain't gonna be sitting up there um, doing too much talking to anybody. Hell, they getting right, becoming the new, focusing on their legacy. Getting into alignment. Focusing on their legacy. Shit. And if that ain't all right with you, it's going to have to be all right with you. Shit. Whoever this is, when the divine called them, they going to pick up. They gonna do what they gotta do. If they gotta disconnect, give the silent treatment, and focus on what the divine trying to show them, that's what they gonna do. They separated to take action against the enemy to give the good news. And if you can't respect that or accept that, then hell to shit. You may be the type that if the divine give you an instruction or whatever the case may be, you may still go about your merry-go-way. But whoever this is, they're not. They're going to follow that instruction. And if they got to be quiet, So that they can see, gain clarity, and learn life lessons. And gain that knowledge and get restored and see truth. And renew themselves in the spirit and be guided by the light. And understand sacred language. And heal themselves. (laughs) And you can't respect that? Maybe because you one of these motherfuckers that always trying to slow this person down or go against them. Maybe because you a low-key enemy. Sneaky. Because how can you not respect somebody being renewed and being restored and being in a light and being happy, and being protected, and being awakened, and knowing what's going on, and able to restore themselves, so guess what, they can restore another, plant the seed that then Yahweh will water, and another individual can receive that. How can you not respect somebody who's oh no, I want, I want that promise, I want that promise that the divine said that he got, I want freedom. No, you want them to be bound down and bullshit. No. You don't love this person. You rather see this person instead of in this ace of cups, you rather see this person in the three of swords at a loss, feeling down and shit. 
Like you're against this person being a badass, being full of life, love, and possibilities. You was happy to be sneaky and backstab and do underhanded shit to this person. That was your happiness. You was happy for it to be hid and, and hide your emotions, how you really felt about this person because you've been plotting and planning on them for I don't know how long. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Okay? Get the fuck out of here with that shit. That shit is wild. Judgment. This person gonna be rescued every motherfucking time and your ass gonna get karma for fucking with this judgment page of wands. For messing with this divine messenger. They are free. They're not bound down to anything. The only tie that they have is to the divine. They're not bound down to shit, so get the fuck over it. It ain't about you. It's about Yahweh. And if you can't respect that and you don't feel that, then hell. To hell with you, too. <laughs> shit. To hell with you. You don't own this person. This ain't your own personal uh See, you felt secure when this person was going through struggles and battles and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person ain't here to, to help you with your motherfucking insecurity and feed that bullshit. That ain't what they here for. To boost your ego. Shit. That ain't what they here for. They free from all that shit. And then look at your hiding and shit. <laughs> you hiding and shit. I don't even. You ain't even come out in the reading in no suit. And I, I the reason why they, well, they came out is the Justice Star, High Priestess, Ace of Cups twice. The Temperance, the Sun, and the Higher Fonts. With the title card, Badass Being Full of Life, Love, and Possibilities. The Page of Wands in the Judgment. In the Hermit. Oh, they are who they are, for sure. But whoever, you are, you ain't show up in no suit for real. Is there anything else we need to know about this? Is there anything else we need to know about this? Yes. I'm going to grab this other tarot deck real quick. Yeah, you just want to look. Seven split in the deck. Seven of swords. Five. Shuffle real fast. Split in the deck. The world to the seven of swords. You just want to steal what this person has completed and achieved. You want to take from them. The fuck you want to mimic them? Like you didn't did the work? You want to take from them. But it's in a deceiving matter. You want to steal. You don't want to go through it to get there. You want to take it from somebody else. It's the end to all of that trickery, betrayal. If your heart ain't right against this person, they gonna know. This person didn't complete it shit with you. You an enemy from their past. Six of Cups. 
You could be a childhood friend, a family member, an old lover. Your ass is guilty. Five of cups. You don't fuck with this person for real. And the divine know it. Divine know what's on man's heart and mind. Or you didn't win against this person or something like that. You would rather see this person depressed and discontent and shit. And drained. No, this person fought to be able to move forward. So go on the fuck head somewhere with that bullshit. And if you ain't somebody like this person's family or friend or or lover, you just a hating ass motherfucking enemy on the outside looking in. And you mad because this person didn't retreat it. And they ain't talking to nobody. That could be a situation too. But mind your motherfucking business. Bitch. Is there anything else we need to know? Oh, look. <laughs> the nine of wands. This is what it began with. The Nine of Wands, Queen of Wands, Fool, Page of Swords, with the Death card. You could have been persistent and super confident. Thoughtless and careless, you be stalking this person, watching this person. You could be an informant. You you watch this person and you go and share some sort of information. You could even spoke death over this person. You could have even gave a gift to cause endings to this person. Had some sort of exchange. You could have experienced the death because of whatever you did. You're going to, exp or you're going to experience an unexpected death that your ass can't even cope with. You're negative. You're deeply unhappy. Your ass gonna be in that ten of swords. You keep watch. You keep backstabbing this person and keep spying on them and shit. <laughs> no, your ass gonna be in that pain. Yeah, you keep trying to ten of swords this damn high priestess. This is what you've been investing in. And that's why your ass gonna transition. It's going to be an end of a cycle for you or whoever, somebody else. So get ready for that. Yeah, you've been investing money. You've been investing a lot of money taking the risk. Now we got you out here in the soup.
whoever was leading you to do something, whoever your leader is, they gonna pass. Or they gonna get real sick and ain't even gonna be able to fucking cope with that fucking illness. And they gonna hit rock bottom and be in pain and be at a dead end for trying to backstab and defeat this high priestess. And that's just what it is. That's just what it's gonna be. So... Whoever taking the risk and doing all that hard work and taking that action to try to take from this person and cause this person loss, it will be you. It will be you, bitch. And this man that was the leader and... And doing whatever this is that was daring and bold, they either already passed or they gonna be up out of here. Let's see. Is this King of Wands still alive? Oh, well, nope. So if you trying to either, either you trying to use the dead or Either you trying to conjure up the dead or use the dead for something. Or you're scared because this person that was in this with you, that was very daring and bold enough to do some shit against this person, they asked and already met they motherfucking defeat and they ain't here no more. That's what you're scared of. Somebody didn't hit rock bottom from already fucking with this person. So that's what you scared of. So it could be a queen of wands or a king of wands. Is it a man? Okay, that's what you scared of because you think this man that was a part of this negativity against this high priestess, meet they in. You seen them fail and meet they in. But then here you is is this person a um a queen of wands? Okay, well, yeah, here you is. Steady, trying to persevere and being persistent in doing whatever this is. So now you're going to face some ongoing battles. You could be a Scorpio. You could be an Aries. You could be a Leo. You could be a Sag. Or you could have them signed somewhere highly aspected in your chart. You could have it in your um it could be your moon sign too. But regardless. You're thoughtless and you're careless and you're in slight competition with this person. This person ain't trying to compete with you. They don't have to. You inform on this person. You stalk this person and you share with the community. You either give it somebody some sort of information or you doing something. And then you could have also gave somebody a gift or gave somebody something to cause an ending to this person. So it's just like, go on head somewhere. <laughs> Confirmation, just go on, go on, go on. Like, it's just like, motherfucker, go on. I don't even know what else to say to your ass, but go on the fuck head. Is this um is this Queen of Wands a fire sign? No. Are they a Scorpio? Are they a water sign? No. We have air here. Are they an air sign? No.
So you an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The only two um, earth signs I see out here is Taurus and Virgo. So you thought you was going to be able to defeat this woman, but this woman is spiritually resilient. And this person don't fear no motherfucking enemy. Learn to leave people the fuck alone. This woman is either a Taurus or a Virgo. I don't see Capricorn out here. Is this woman a Capricorn? Is this feminine a, um, a Capricorn? No. You could even call yourself being a high priestess. And you've been manifesting and doing whatever you've been doing or you've been connected to one. Guess what? You're asking to meet. You're asking to meet that ten of swords. You're asking to meet a dead end in rock bottom. So this person is a Taurus or a Virgo, or you got a Taurus or a Virgo moon. But get your get the fuck on. That's my advice to you. Move the fuck on and move around, or you're gonna get moved around. It's up to you. You're going to get fucking moved around. Learn to leave people the fuck alone. See, it was he and who this person was that you was deciding to fuck with. So you, this is something that you do to people. But you ran across somebody that is chosen and spiritual for real you ran into a real one so move around or get moved around them is your motherfucking choices you don't got no other choices So this could be a stranger, this could be somebody that somebody knows, whatever the case may be. But this 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 person, you're gonna get moved around. You better move or get moved. Because this this the righteous will not be moved. This one won't be moved. So you take your motherfucking pick. Move or get fucking moved. Move around. Because your defeat coming too. We have here, Yahweh watches over all who love him. So, just like the Most High got unconditional love for this person, this person unconditionally loves the Most High. Their heart overflows with love for the Most High as well. And they are watched over. I will lie down and sleep in peace for you alone, O Yahweh. Makes me dwell in safety. Rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Gratitude is an offering precious in the sight of Yahweh. And it is one that the poorest of us can make and be not poor, but richer for having made it. It is good to give thanks to Yahweh and sing praises to the Most High. Yahweh is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. He helps me and my heart is filled with joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. Memory keeps gratitude fresh and gratitude keeps faith fruitful. So 
So you have Aries or um, Scorpio highly aspected in your chart, but your sun or moon is Taurus or Virgo. You better move around. But I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.